What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. Today we're taking a look at Motive spawning here in the top center versus Sock. Both of these players, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the qualifiers for the SSL slash ASL whatever just yet, both these players made their way into those group stages. So they both advanced through the qualifier they're just talking here on the side. I already translated this. They're talking about which groups they are in. And they are both not in the same group. So they won't be fighting each other right off the bat. They're talking about how uh, they hope that they will both advance. Maybe a little bit of camaraderie here between these two players. I've casted games between them on the channel before. They seem to be pretty evenly matched. Honestly, it feels like a very good matchup between these two. Motive has been growing in power, uh, you know, evident in the fact that he's made it into SSL. And, you know, Sock, he's still very good. He's made it into the SSL or the ASL a few times. And he's managed to make it there again, which is awesome. I love to see him play. I thought that he was gonna go a lot deeper last season just based on how he was performing in the KCM previously, but just not quite able to play up to the caliber. I think he is capable on the main stage. Like he seems to do a lot better in these ladder battle series and in things that he can play online. Maybe that's just a comfort thing. Maybe he feels uh, a lot better at home where he's, you know, surrounded by his own things where he is, you know, sitting at his own desk, where he is comfortable. He can just play his game without really thinking about, you know, bright lights shining on him or, uh, you know, playing at a different computer that's not his. He, of course, would bring his setup. Everybody does. They bring their own keyboard, mouse, uh, mouse pad, all that good stuff. But it's just a little different sometimes, you know? Maybe the monitor's a little different. Maybe there's just a a small thing like a light behind the monitor that you're not used to playing in a tournament setting in a live or in a live event is just so much different it's really really hard to play your absolute best and that's what i'm hoping for from sock in this coming season but i think that's what we're gonna see right now is him playing at his highest level he's starting here with a gasless fast expand he's got that gas started up now he has the CC finishing, and he's just a tiny bit ahead of our Protoss player at the moment. Motive, he is very strong as well. Has been putting up some good games on the KCM, uh, in the KCM tournament recently. We saw him as well on the channel go up against Flash, uh, in which he just kind of bodied Flash the first time that they met, and then Flash turned around and completely smacked him around the room uh, in the second series and that's just kind of flash he's been growing so much lately but it was cool to see motive just playing so well with the new style that flash just couldn't stand up to it initially now we've got a scv getting in here to the main he did not see i think he might have just barely seen the cybernetic core he definitely saw the robotics so this is a big scout here for sock SCV has slightly less vision range than the probe. So I'm not sure if he actually saw the range finish, but now that the Dragoon is damaging this bunker, then it's out of range of the Marines. He knows that uh, has been finished for a fact. He has his first tank on the way. Second factory coming up here as well. Will he go for a starport to get a Wraith out a little bit quicker? It's something we've seen players like Light do a bit more recently. And it seems to be very strong because I, I thought it would actually come into more prominence uh, recently since uh, Snow has been dominating with his Reaver performance. I thought that we would see more Wraith play, like Cloak Wraith, maybe two, three Wraiths being added on early game to just help get rid of that shuttle to push it out of the way so that you can make some space for yourself and prevent the shuttle from just constantly kiting your army 
and the reavers dealing huge damage killing off uh tanks and all that good stuff as you're trying to push across the map um yeah i thought we were gonna see more usage of the wraith but it really seems like it's uh not quite coming to popularity just yet bunker is gonna take some damage here as two vultures manage to slip out we need one more SCV there. Oh, he's going to get it. Beautiful control here from Motive. He's just picked off the last. Oh my god, repair. Ooh, that was really close. Sock could have potentially lost the game off of that. He doesn't have any tanks out right now. And this is four Dragoons. They kill the Marines super quick. And with only a couple of Vultures in behind this, you're going to take a lot of damage there. Uh, the Observer will go down. Some mines being laid over here by the third base, but he's not able to block that. He will, however, get behind these dragoons and place a couple of mines. And with the observer going down, there might be an opportunity here. If when those two tanks pop out, he pushes up against these dragoons, he might force them to walk back into these mines. Now, will he be able to do so? He pops the Marines out. Here we go. I'm going to try and force them up this ramp. You want to go up to high ground as soon as possible. Oh, he's just going to barely walk out of the way of these mines. That's unfortunate. Two more vultures come out. They tried to get in front of these dragoons, but really great control here from Motive. You can see his power as a Protoss player. His control is fantastic. There's a reason he made it into SSL. This is not dumb luck. We've got third base finished up now he hasn't transferred the probes yet he will send them over now but he actually needs to be careful vultures are alive on the map looking for opportunities like this one to get a bun bunch of probe kills seems like those have been spotted he's gonna go in now pretty low hp on those two vultures and with the two dragoons there he'll just block that out really nicely done so far by motive he hasn't really done a lot of damage to the Terran so far, but he's negated all the different plays from Sock to try and get in and deal any probe harass damage. So his economy is looking fantastic. He's finally got his first Reaver out. His fourth base is about to start. Sock goes a little bit crazy here and just throws down the command center. He knows that the dragons are back here. He just saw them with his vultures, so he has a pretty good idea of where the army's at, and he's just going to try and take this command center. He lost a tank earlier, so it's going to be a little harder to hold on to this third base. May want to put down a whole bunch of buildings here at the front to just try and make this position as difficult to bust as possible. He's got nothing in the natural. Everything is over here. Let's see where Motive heads with his first Reaver. And all of these Dragoons coming across the map. Well, where'd the Reaver go, actually? Oh, there it is. Okay, he's got two Reavers in a shuttle. Clearing out the mines here on high ground. SCV train. Headed over towards that third base. Supply Depot in a kind of a weird position. I thought it would be over here. Try and block things up a little bit more. He's gone to four factory third base. It's a little bit risky. And Motive may opt to just bust this. We don't have Zealots on the way just yet, or Zealot Speed, which is probably what you need to bust through this position. But that is so few tanks. We've only got four tanks. Oh, Reavers dropping here in the back. Looks like this shuttle's taking quite a bit of damage. It's super low. He does eat the mine shot here. Can he get the shuttle? Oh, he does get it. Nicely done there. Very, very good cl clean hold from Sock. Defending his main base with just a couple of Goliaths and the tanks. And now, for sure, I think we're going to see this base, this third base, survive. I doubt there's any way that Modic can break through after just kind of throwing away his Reavers. He's sitting here on six gateways with seven and eight coming up now. He has his miners heading down here to the bottom left. Oh, man, these vultures just... A little bit out of position. Look at them. They're flying in right now. Looks like they will catch a few probes, but they missed that large transfer that was coming over. Actually, it wasn't as large as I thought. Just six probes total. Vultures are going to get caught on the retreat. 
We're finally going to get a starport here out of Sock. Will eventually get himself up into that plus two upgrade. Plus one is on the way here for armor. And a lot of supply depots over on this side. That's kind of surprising to me. I thought he would want to place them in the front, but maybe he's had that terrible situation where you try to push up your own ramp and the supply depots are blocking you and it's really hard to get around them. Yeah, it seems like Motive wasn't really interested in breaking that position, so this has actually worked out quite well for our Terran player. Now, oh, let's pick off a Dragoon here. A little bit risky with those tanks shoving forward, but he now sees where the Dragoons are at. And this small force of Dragoons can definitely be pushed back. We've got a lot of Zealots popping out now. Motive is busting up in supply 155 to the 129 it's actually not as big of a deficit as i would have expected just 20 supply it's probably going to grow pretty significantly now that we have all of these gateways online but a lot of factories are coming up now to one two three four five six seven factory total as Sock seeks to control his own high ground. This high ground plateau here, very important position to hold. The one downside of taking this high ground is that you have nowhere to build your turrets. So with one Goliath only, the shuttle basically has free reign to just fly over and drop zealots on top of all of this if that's what he chooses to do. If he wants to try and bust this position, it's going to be very hard to prevent these shuttles from doing what they want. And it really does look like Motive wants to bust this. He's got everything spread out. He's ready to engage. He has four Templar in this shuttle. The amulet is coming here. Gravitic booster for his observers is coming up. There's the leg enhancement. I think once the leg enhancements finish, I think that'll be the the trigger point here. Third shuttle comes up. I think that's got zealots in it as well. Another observer goes down. A little bit unfortunate there. We do have four, four Goliaths now doing a good job at gunning these down, but here comes the storm. The Templar storm is insane. Great storms here on this high ground. Dragoons are starting to fall though in the south. A pretty decent trade there overall for Sock, I guess. Look at the... Actually, the supply is looking really in his favor. A lot more was lost there than I kind of realized uh, for a Protoss. And the storms maybe weren't making up for that. Setting up some mines here behind the army. It's going to force Motive to respond to maybe back up here and start to clear that. And this will give an opportunity for Sock to push forward. Just creating a bit of a headache over on this side of the map. Forcing these units back is going to allow him to quickly move over here to this high ground plateau. Taking over the southern high ground is kind of huge. Motive is trying to get bases up down here in the bottom left. He's already got the one base up in mining. Is going to try to set up this one as well. Motive has done... Or, excuse me, Sock has done a very good job of forcing Motive back. More Vultures are going to come up. Is he going to try and clear this army, or does he counterattack? There's really not that much on the side of Sock back at home. He really doesn't want to lose this base, it seems. He's coming down with the Zealots and Dragoons. Let's see if he can break this. The position is fantastic here for Sock. Setting down some... Templar gonna throw down some storms, but that was a great D matrix and the splitting of the tank shots kills both the Templar before any more storms can come down. Another storm there on the D matrix tank, and Sock is just clearing this out beautifully. He's crushed this army, and now what's left over may end up going for a counterattack, but he's for certain gonna lose this base. And there's already an army back at home for Sock. Maybe he can hold on against this i'm surprised he's not already set up here i thought he would just set up over here on the low ground but he might actually throw this game if motive comes and clears this army 
and then starts to push into the third base. This is getting a little bit scary. We've only got two tanks here on the low ground. That's still quite a lot of zealots. There is an observer here to start to clear these mines. And he does have one more Templar. He's not bringing the observer forward, which is pretty painful right now. His mines are doing a lot of work, and the two tanks will be enough to shove this back. He has some more zealots. Oh, a base over here at the top right has been spotted. Gonna kill a bunch of these SCVs. Will he drop the Templar to try and get the storm? No, he does not. Just gonna let those go. But he should maybe come down here to clean up these tanks. That's a lot of tanks. What is this? Nine tanks worth of army? Base over here. That's a little bit funny. Trying to take this base down at the bottom right. I don't think that's going to work out too well for motive. Unless this army just walks right past. Okay, we have the command center on the high ground. Floating. Motive? Is he thinking about diving in right now? I really think he should come down here and clear this army. It's a shame that he didn't catch it on the retreat. Because he might have been able to kill that as it was coming over this high ground. Now it seems... Sok is going to be able to set up the base down here at the bottom right. And there's really not too much that Motive can do about it. He's just sitting here on the high ground. He doesn't have any probes down in the bottom left-hand corner. Looks like he might be bringing some. No, Dragoons instead. That's interesting. Oh, does he see these? He doesn't see the SCVs heading down there. If he'd gotten some good storms on that. Could have been a game changer. We're at 67 workers to 55 for motive. And that's all down to the fact that that base in the bottom left-hand corner was killed. Now diving here on top of the tanks. He's trying to break through this position, but it's not looking doable right now for motive. All the zealots are gone. It has to back away now. Dragoons are not going to cut it. Coming down this ramp against so many tanks. It's a suicide mission, and so he backs away. Has brought some Dragoons down to this bottom left. Needs to retake that ASAP. It's now four base to four base, by the way. Not a good situation for a Protoss player to be in. And Sok has masterfully manipulated this situation to exactly where he wants to be. More storms going to come down, but the shuttle dies. I think that might have had some more Templar in it. I'm not sure. But now that the shuttle is gone, these Templar are likely going to get cleaned up. One more storm available for that. I'm not sure if we have EMP here. Let's take a look at the upgrades. 2-2 two -two is done. 2-2 two -two also done for the Protoss player. But plus 3 is about to finish. And the strength of the Terran mech. Absolutely unstoppable at that point in the game. He's slowly maneuvering his way up here as he takes this base towards the 1 o'clock position. See if Sok can split this map in half nearly with this base going down. He's kind of secured his future. As long as he manages to hold on to this base, there's not really a good way for Motive to starve him out. Motive will have to continuously trade. Ooh, great storm there. Some more good storms. Clearing up a few more vultures. We've got some storms coming in here to this SCV line. A lot of SCVs are here. He storms his own shuttle, but he gets quite a few SCV kills in the meantime. Not a huge amount of SCVs at any of these bases, but we've still got 64, so I guess a lot here. So I'm getting transferred now. And this three base mining will resume in just a moment. Some zealots being bombed onto these tanks. Gonna try and hit this uh, one o'clock base once again. Let's see the storms. Wow, these storms are insane. So many SCVs just went down there. Meanwhile, this position being attacked, but that's a few too many tanks to deal with right now. We need a shuttle. In fact, one shuttle would break this. You drop a zealot in the middle of this, drop a couple more zealots on these back lines, and then hit it with the dragoons. He could probably break through pretty darn easy. He's got three shuttles to work with. 
Will he come down to that bottom right? Try to break the position? I think he will. This is a little bit too juicy to pass up. There's no anti-air over top of these units. So just drop it on top. Motive will break this position with relative ease. Probes heading down towards the bottom left are going to get cleaned up. Unfortunately for Motive, while he's dealing the damage, down here in the bottom right to Sock, Motive is going to be losing a ton of probes crossing this map. He's down to 38. A dismal probe saturation for the 21 minute mark. We still have base number three up and operational. Base four is looking good. Base five and base six do need probes though. Because we are, although we managed to kill this base, being even on the overall base count is not a good situation once again. Zealots here in these shuttles. Is he gonna be able to target those down before they unload? He gets one. That's a pretty big kill there. This shuttle also very, very low. It's like he's going to try and come forward, but this is a nearly unstoppable army. That's so many tanks. He's trying to transfer probes, but he just can't right now. Too many vultures, tanks, and goliaths are here and ready to block this. And so, Motive going to send those probes back to mining here in the top left, but they don't have much time left at that location. One more storm goes down. Dragoons are going to feed into this army. This might be the end of the game here for Motive. All these Dragoons go down. It's so painful to watch right now. Oh, is he going to target down the Templar? He does get both of the Templar. And these tanks are going to make their way into the bottom left. Start to hit these bases. He loses a tank to a cannon, but it's all about time right now. We're just trying to get in here as quickly as possible to break this position before Motive puts together a reasonable defense to come down here and stop this. And I don't think that Motive will be able to stop this in time. The Nexus is going to go down really, really fast with all of these plus three tanks dealing their damage. There's a big storm. A group of storms, actually. Oh, man, that was really good trading there. Uh, absolutely fantastic for Motive, but I just don't think it's going to be enough motive he's got to get down here and save this base and he will not be able to one base mining two base mining versus two base it's looking rough here for motive but he's still going to try and continue this game maybe he can find some primo storms that can help him to beat this army and then find his way to get another base in the bottom left looks like sock is not going to come out He's just going to camp here in this main base in bottom left and force his opponent to come to him. Here we go. Zealots going to make their way down here. We've got the shuttle dropping the Zealots on top. Shuttle from behind as well. That's not going to be targeted by the Goliaths. And so the Templar will get out and clear this army with relative ease. Now, a lot of Dragoons did go down, which is pretty rough, but both supplies are super low at this point. 110 to 102 it's a very close game some archons being made because we just don't know what else to do right now oh templar gonna get shut down here quite a few of them end up going down that is really rough you know uh, our protoss player has so much gas he can pump out a ton of templar but he's running low on minerals same thing with sock although you, there's not really any good reasonable units to make with gas gg is called motive taps out in the end not good enough it was one base to one base mining here at the very end of this one but this one was definitely going to mine out a lot quicker the space of motive and so sock is going to take this one home crazy crazy game here with sock i mean playing out of his mind motive as well doing a really good job I can't wait to see these two clash in the ASL, although they'll both have to make it through many strong opponents to get there. I hope that they're both going to give us great games and make it even deeper than they did in the last season, or Sock made it. I hope Sock makes it deeper than he did in the last season. Modus, I don't think, has ever been in the ASL, but good luck to him and good luck to both these players. Thank you guys so much for watching this little peek 
into some of these ASL contenders on the ladder, and I'll see you in the next video.